Hi, this is Nathan. Um, I am actually making this video as a second uh, follow-up video to the first I created. Um, actually, this is a Razer Nostromo. Uh, this is the old Belkin Nostromo in 52. Um, the first video I made, um, I bought this Nos this Razer Nostromo uh, to, re you know, just as an upgraded one that I have. Um, it's a, it looks cooler. It's got, it's, it feels better, from, you know, mechanically speaking. But I'm having an issue where it's, re it's. Um, I play this primarily for first-person shooters and when I'm doing, when, let's say I'm playing Battlefield 3 and I want to throw out a medical kit, um, I'll show you how we have that set up. Uh, Razer has asked me to reproduce the issue that I'm having. Uh, as I said before, my last video goes over all the key bindings that I have set up uh, in detail and then it goes and shows some gameplay footage of me actually recreating the issue where in this case it was a forward and a right key being held down so I was moving forward and right. Um, I threw out a, a medical kit and then the Stromo seemed to remember that those keys were held down because it was holding it down on its own. Now remember physically the, this wasn't happening, I think it was happening in software. So Razer has asked me to reproduce this in WordPad uh, and I think I found a few things that kind of help support um, the issue that I'm having particularly and, and you'll see that they're used a little bit differently. So. Review my last video if you want to see exactly uh, the occurrence of what happened. Um, I want to point this out as well. Uh, I've been in engineering before, so I think with this being a software issue, um, you know, hopefully some of the things I'm going to show today on this video will help them understand the differences between, you know, the expectations of what someone would have had using this, uh, the older iteration of this. Um, Razer partnered with Belkin, who made the original Nostromo uh, in 50. This, th there was one before this, the N50, um, which I had as well, which I still have and still works. So for 11 years of of being used with these both these devices, I would say that they're definitely well made. So um, anyway, I'm going to basically show uh, how these are working in WordPad, and I'm going to show some of the things about the devices that are definitely different, um, and hopefully this will help uh, Razer develop new versions of software and bug fixes or whatever they want to call them enhancements um, so that you know that they can they can get that fixed so if I, I've been trying to help them I've got 30 days left on my return policy for this so I'm going to try to squeeze all the time out of that that I can uh, I still haven't decided whether or not I'm going to stick with it yet because um, it's a pretty expensive uh, purchase if I'm not going to feel I can trust it so um, Without further ado, we'll go ahead and I will show you kind of the setup. So remember, we've got the Razer Nostromo here on the left, the Belkin Nostromo N52 on the right. Um, I normally didn't have, when I was reproducing this and with the video, I actually had this uninstalled altogether, so this wasn't up and running, but they work well together, surprisingly. So I'm going to show you the setup. Um, basically, we have WordPad open here. Um, let me zoom in a little bit here. So we have WordPad open here. Uh, I'm going to be typing some keys uh, to try to reproduce the issue that I'm having. Um, but one thing I did want to point out, and I think um, you know I can mash a little bit on the keys a little bit later, but there's a couple things I found out when I've been using both of these devices together and watching how it works when in uh, when in WordPad. So uh, back to the Nostromo real quick. I will come back out here. So. Basically, uh, if you remember from my last video, what I do when I play, um, I have basically the Nostromo has 15 keys that are programmable, right? So 1 through 14, 15. Um, I use the typical movement like forward, back, left, straight left, straight right, and then I have you know a number of different keys which I went over on the last one. But the important thing that uh, is that I'm not using the movement, the directional pad for movement, which a lot of people do. Uh, I'm actually using the keys. Um, but I have a, a secondary key mapping that happens when I push this upper left hand button, this number one button. So when I do that, as you can see, the light goes red. And then when the light is red, all these keys are a different, uh, a different mapped key, uh, mapped uh, button to that, to each one of those. So for example, this starts out, this is actually mapped to the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then these are different as well. but but I was recreating the issue while I was hitting this four button which is mapped to the number three key on the keyboard. That's what throws out a health kit or a, a med kit or um, ammo pack or uh, you know s the other secondary features for each class when I'm playing Battlefield 3. So uh, I just want to point that out. You'll see 
that um, something I'm going to point out with this here in a second. So whenever, um, and I have the Nostromo N52 mapped the same way, so you can see when I hit uh, the upper left hand button, the red button goes on. So um, I'm going to go down, and, and one of the things that I saw when I, I was actually typing this is that the Nostromo seems to have a lot of latency whenever you're hitting the buttons versus the N52 which has literally no latency at all and what I mean by that is when I press a key on here and I expect to see it uh, type on the screen in WordPad I expect it to happen exactly as soon as I hit the key and if I hit the key really fast I expect it to do it just as fast so I'm expecting this to act exactly like a keyboard would so if I hit this this uh, button up here which happens to be mapped to W if I hit this button really really fast I want it to do exactly the same thing as I was hitting a keyboard really really fast and so uh, this the Nostromo has the Razer Nostromo has latency which I'll show you the Belkin Nostromo N52 has zero latency whatsoever so between these two these should be the same because this is uh, much more uh, it's it's faster, you know, instantaneous response, whereas this one takes a while. And so what I want to do to illustrate that is to actually look at the shift state light as we're shifting states, you know, between that top row of, of keys. So basically, if I, let's see, put this back here. As soon as I hit this, you know, this should go. Sometimes when I hit it, as, as you saw right there, there again, it's not registering that I'm actually hitting it. So, whereas the N52, if I hit it with this finger, it, it does it as soon as I hit it and as fast as I hit it, right? So if I hit it really, really fast, let's say that I'm hitting really fast, as soon as I stop, it immediately stops. If I do that on the on the Razer Nostromo, let's say I try to hit the button really fast, ten times in a few seconds, right? Watch it. See how it continues? So basically, the Nostromo is saying, "Hey, this guy's hit this button fifteen times. I'm storing up in my memory that he's hit it fifteen times, and I'm going to make sure that I hit each uh, each of those keys fifteen times." right so it's it's going through let's say an internal memory queue of saying hey there's these things we need to replay these actions and so it does that so if I hit it real fast and if I hit it a few extra times it still thinks it's got to play through those whereas on the N52 it doesn't do that at all in fact it plays all of those real time and is done as soon as I'm done so you can you can see it with sometimes the light barely turning off and immediately turning back on again whereas the Razer Nostromo is more of a regulated pulsing so it doesn't it's not playing the keys in real time so that's my first problem I think that's part of it um, when you're playing in a first person shooter a lot of times you're holding left and right and back and all these things at the same time and you're really hitting stuff really fast as opposed to maybe some of the more multiplayer uh, massive multiplayer online games or RPGs you're not, it's not as fast gameplay as if you were, let's say, playing Battlefield 3 or Call of Duty or something like that. So um, I, I believe anyone could agree with me, and that goes without saying that you should be able to have what I'm demonstrating here in the Razer Nostromo. And I think if it's a software issue, that's something they should be able to fix. So I think from a device standpoint, the, me the mechanics of it, I think it's, it's well made. I think it's a great successor to this N52, um, but I still don't think it's quite there yet. So... One of the other things that I wanted to point out, and I actually will be switching up here to the uh, to the screen here in a second, is that whenever I am holding something down, let's say that I hit forward and right, what you'll see on screen is that it will, so I'll do this on the Razer Nostromo here. So I'm going to hold the W, see W, and D. So I'm going to hold those. And you see the W, the D is the only thing that's repeating. Right? If I add another key, so as the D is repeating here, if I add another key, let's say I add the key right to the left of W, which is slash. If I hit that key, what happens? Let's see. So now it's only slash, even though I have these held down here, these other keys. So that's one thing, so I think 
it I just wanted to point out how that seems to work. And it looks like